Hi everybody, this is Evelyn, and today we're going to be doing another tutorial on how to add text to an animated um, GIF, an animated banner, a GIF, it could be banner, an image, something. Anyways, yeah, so this we're just seeing funny views one I made a while ago, and as you can see, it's um, from um, B2B. Music video insane. I'm actually going to be recreating this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to file and we're going to go to import video frames to layers. And then we're going to select B2B insane. Click load. Well first of all if your video doesn't show up in your folder, start period start in the file name, hit enter or load and then your file should load if not just go out and then go back in and then your files will load as you can see these files appeared so we're going to go to b2b insane and click load select range only limit 2 to every frame I'm just going to go limit 4 to every frame and I'm just going to click the start button so that it plays And lower the volume right there. So that's the part I want. So I'm just going to backtrack if I can. I'm just going to rewind. And then I'm just going to click to beginning, hold shift on your keyboard, and press fast forward button to select your frames. Click OK when you're done. You can go over the frame limit because we're always going to delete them after. So I have 14 frames here. I went over by two frames. So I'm just going to click one of the first frame, hold shift, click the second frame, and drag to my trash can box. Same with the frames here in the layers palette. Click, shift, click, and trash can. Now we have that done. You can play it. And then we're going to actually resize it. So this, um, size is 300 by 120 so I'm just going to go to image image size I'm just going to change it to 300 and it's going to be 161 69 I believe that's what it said I'm just going to change my t crop crop tool to its settings And I'm just going to reselect it. This is just going to just give it the 120 uh, size I want. Now I'm going to press play again. And it's a bit fast, so I'm just going to click shift, click the last frame, other 0 0.28. I'm going to play again. And there you go. So now we're going to add the text. So you can get your text tool. And I'm just going to use. Um, a different font just because I want to be a bit and we type in she gives me so much pain and I'm just going to make the size smaller maybe 40 like so and I'm just going to make the font black So now we have that, it's time to um, make it fade. So what we're going to do is actually, we're going to duplicate the text layer to match the frames. So we have 12 frames, one text layer, so we're going to duplicate the text layer by 11. So what you can do in your text, well for me I'm going to do 11, it depends how many how many frames you have in your animation. So I'm going to control on my text layer, it's selected. Control J 11 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So now that I have that done, I'm going to hide all the texts but the first one. And now as you can see, I have this here. Now I'm going to add a layer mask to the text. So image, or I mean layer, 
layer mask, reveal all. So that you have white here. And then I'm go right click, and my gradient tool, and I'm gonna click D on my keyboard to set my colors to default, and then X dab black is my foreground color. So once we have our layer mask in set, and I just told you about the gradient, so I had to pause for a minute, so I kind of forgot where I was at. Um, we're going to use the gradient to delete most of the text, and then we're going to apply it to the other text layers, and then we'll gradually make the text appear as we go on to each frame. Um, if you hear talking in the background, that's my parents. Um, so yeah, so basically we're going to go, we're going to hold shift on our keyboard as we drag the black over, we're going to drag it practically almost all the way over, usually only a little bit disappears, so we're going to keep dragging until we delete most of it, like so. And as that's gone, you can just see how the other layers, it kind of appears as well. So once we have that done, we're going to go to our next layer. Our next frame, we're going to have to click each frame as we go. Hide the text layer here. Make the new one appear. Hold Alt on your keyboard. Drag the a layer mask up. So now that we drag that um, layer mask to the text um, for the second frame, we're going to go and we're going to click X on our keyboard to make white appear as a gradient. Or you can actually use a brush if you want to brush in the color, but I'm actually going to use the gradient and I'm just going to click to the click to the start of the S, hold shift and just drag slowly to make it appear a little bit more. So she maybe a little bit more. It all depends on how much you want it to appear. And then we're going to keep doing this for the Next frames over. And so on and so forth. Alt Alt to break the dra uh, bring the layer mask up to the next um, text. Click your next frame. Do the gradient again. And so on and so forth. Always don't forget to hide the first text frame on your layers just to make sure. Oops, I forgot to do something. Okay, four, one, two, three, four, four, we're on five. We're gonna hide that one. Hold make this one up here. Hold all down and drag your up like that. And then we're going to use our gradient to make the text appear again. I'm just gonna keep doing this. And what we actually can do to hide the text from all frames is just going to turn it off. And then on the first text, just going to make it appear like that. So I'm on. Or maybe it didn't work like that. So I'm on frame 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alt and drag up. Gradient tool. Make sure that your layer is clicked. And then just drag white over more. Wrong one. Seven. Alt. Drag up. Make sure this is checked. And then just shift and make it more appear. And then we're going to do the same for each of them. Now, as you can see, the text, um, the green map is starting to get a bit more over. So, it's just going to make more appear as we go. Go on the window, kitty. And then just use our gradient. Yeah, it's going to take a long process to keep going on, but you get the gist of it. 
and here is where we're gonna finish it off so shift click make sure like all of it shows up and then the last one make sure that that one's unclipped last ring click and then we're just going to stroke it fully with white get away all the black and then we're just going to go and press play and there you go so now it's time to save so what we're going to do is we're going to go to file save the web and devices and then we're going to save of course for the and you can do whatever settings that you want I'm going to do um, just for um, the heck of it, I'm just going to go over the best settings possible. So I'm going to go selective noise 256 color and my gift set like 291k, but it's also a small size by 300 by 120. Click save, just save it, whatever. Go to your files, open with Google Chrome. And there you go. I do hope that you guys like this tutorial. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and ask questions if you want. I'll do my best to answer. And yeah, bye guys.